define this code as we always have on our reinforcement 19 that is the total quantity of reinforcement at that particular location of concern so it might be anything according to the drawing the next one is the type of reinforcement this might be any number so the general note is going to tell you if it is high yield or mine steel followed by this number is the diameter of the reinforcement we have the bar mark and also the center to center dimension welcome back to another tutorial in this tutorial, we'll be exploring how to take off for stair ups or links in reinforcement under concrete works. Before we dive into this video, let's try and establish the differences between stair ups or links. Stair ups are closed loop bows tied at regular intervals within the reinforcement of beams. Links or lateral tiles, they are square or rectangular structures formed by binding rebars to create a ring like shape to reinforce columns. Types of stair up We have single leg stair up which is also called open stair up This is really used typically for binding two rods. Two, two-legged or double-legged stair-off which is also referred to as closed stair-off. This is commonly and widely used, require a minimum of four rods. Three, four-legged or closed stair-off. This provides additional reinforcement. Four, six-legged stair-off used in special cases. Five, circular stair-off. This is suitable for round shaped columns. And the last one, six, helical stair-off which is commonly used in piles. Therefore, both stair-offs and links play crucial role in a ensuring the durability and safety of reinforced concrete elements whether it maintain alignment or resisting forces they are very vital so in summary tear ups are used for beams while links or lateral tiles are used for columns with all being said let's get into this video in order to successfully take off for the quantities of tear ups or links under any given work item three major documents are important one the general note two the plan three and the section so on the screen we have the general so we'll be focusing our attention on concrete and reinforcement since we are measuring the links as it relates to reinforcement so we will not be boring ourselves going through all this so we are going straight to where it concerns us so one let's come to number eight where we have the cover under column since we are using column so the cover to our column is 35 mm so let's check to if we have provision for extension so under this general work there is no provision for extension so we will be assuming our projection so for the sake of this tutorial let's assume our projection is going to be 150 mm so now let's go to the plan and the section and see what we have this is our plan and this is our section for the sake of this tutorial we're making use of section 10 10 this is column c 2 a which is one number so we're making use of the grand floor column for our explanation so we have section 10 10 now we have the plan this is the height of our column with slab and beam inclusive. So this is the section. For the sake of this tutorial, this is going to be our length and this is going to be our width. Now let's go to the taking off. Now in order to avoid going back and forth to the drawing, so I have the sketch of the section here. So but before we start, let's try and define this code as we always have on our reinforcement 19 that is the total quantity of reinforcement at that particular location of concern so it might be anything according to the drawing the next one is the type of reinforcement this might be any number so the general note is going to tell you if it is high yield or mine steel followed by this number is the diameter of the reinforcement we have the bar mark and also the center to center dimension that is the distance between one stair up or link to the other is 175 mm. Now this is our length, our width. The cover is from the general note. Projection or extension is our agreed upon assumption since we are not given. And this is the extension to this side, to the width and to the length. Now let's get into taking off. Length equals to 300 mm. This is our length. So we are going to be removing cover. And what is cover? Cover is the distance between the concrete and the reinforcement in order to protect the reinforcement from external factors such as weather in order to prevent rusting. So the distance between this and this is our cover and it is 35 mm. So let's remove 35 mm on both sides. So we have 35 multiplied by 2, we have 70. 70 from 300, we have 230 mm. Since we have length on both sides, so multiply by 2, we have 460 mm. So we are going to be adding the projection, this projection to one side. So that's 150 mm plus 460 mm. We have 610 
and then done with the total dimension of our length let's move to the width we have the width 225 from this side to this side and we're going to be removing the cover on both sides so 225 minus 70 we have 155 multiply by 2 because we have in two places that's 310 we're going to be adding the extension or projection 150 that gives 460 mm so let's calculate the total dimension of our stair rope we have 410 mm plus 460 mm that's 1070 mm so now we want to calculate the total number of links under here so from this point from this point to this point we want to calculate the total number of links and remember i said this is the total length with slab and beam inclusive so we'll be deducting this from we'll be deducting the slab and beam from our measurement so in order to have from this point to this point as the height of our column now the formula for calculating the number is length of the column divided by center to center plus one this is important because when we can't there is always from this point so there is always one at this end so that's why we're adding one so now we have the length of the column with slab and beam inclusive 3750 mm less slab and column 450 from the drawing 450 here so we have 3300 mm so in order to get the number of links required so 3300 mm divided by 175 mm plus one we have 18.8 57 plus 1. So when we add 1 to it, we have 19.857 numbers. So when we round it up, we have 20 numbers. Now we want to calculate the total quantity of reinforcement required at that particular work item. Now we need to calculate the total quantity maybe in tons or kg for that particular column. Now to calculate that, we have the total quantity equals to the quantity we just calculated multiplied by the length we did earlier multiplied by the weighting constant. So the weighting constant is weighting constant is d square. That's the diameter of reinforcement. That's 10 divided by 162.162. So the diameter of reinforcement is 10 mm. So 10 mm square. 10 mm square divided by 162.162. We have 0.616. 6672833 so when we approximate we have 0 0.6170 now the formula here so the quantity we have 20 the length after converting to meter we have 1.07 multiplied by the weighting constant we just calculated here so the quantity in kg equals to 13.2038 kg when we approximate we have 13.20 kg so let's convert to tons what we need to do is divide this kg by 1000 so when we divide 13.2038 divided by 1000 we have 0 0.0132038 tons when we approximate we have 0 0.01 tons so that means for that for that one column we'll be needing 0 0.01 tons of 10 mm diameter per links or steroid for that particular work I did. So that's how we're going to be repeating the same process for all the columns until the last one. Until when next I'll be seeing you in another tutorial. You're welcome.